Can I, can I ask you why you're here today, standing as United General Secretary at this Stand Up to Racism demonstration? I think it's really important that this demonstration against racism is happening um, because we've seen a huge wave of uh, bigotry and racism, particularly targeting against immigrants and migrant workers, uh, particularly came to a head, I think, around the campaign, around the referendum, which hasn't gone away uh, since. You can see that there are Tories who want to capitalise on the exit, the exit vote, not to try and protect working people, but actually to try and deregulate the economy, to let it rip and at the same time step up racism. And I think there has to be an argument inside the Labour movement to take on the argument that somehow we're better off if we happen to be born in this country by restricting the rights of people who weren't. That undermines our unity, the very unity we need if we're going to win to defend jobs, to defend pain conditions, and to defend our public services and to defend our rights. People might feel that it increases their market power to have a restricted labour supply, but if the price of that is undermining our unity, it undermines the power we have to fight back altogether. Where does Len McCluskey stand on this? Len McCluskey is clearly an anti-racist, but he has completely fudged on the issue of free movement. So he argues that we need to restrict the right of employers to hire people from abroad uh, uh, in order to protect the rights of people who are here. But of course, what does from abroad mean? Will the racist in your workplace check what date somebody turned up in the UK before uh, discriminating against them? What will it mean in a year or two's time when United is trying to recruit and organise people who come to the UK to work uh, since he made those speeches. We need to have unity. Whoever is here, we need to be organising in a united fashion. And I think that fudge is extremely dangerous and undermines all our strength and our ability to win. Cheers, Ian.